Dear friends, I am very happy to welcome you to our online event about Cyprus. I am very grateful that you found time to join us to find out a little bit more about our island. And I know that some of you will be viewing this event in the recording. So please have in mind that today we will have a session for all the questions and answers. But even where, if you watch this event in, uh, uh, in the recording, please feel free to contact us anytime. So I am here in sunny Cyprus where the weather is still amazing and still fantastic. And today I will be sharing with you lots of information. I will share with you the benefits. I will share with you lots of things that I believe is important to know. So today our webinar is dedicated to the situation in general, but also we will speak a little bit about the new properties as well. My name is Anastasia Yanni, and I'm the CEO and partner of Cyprus Sotheby's International Realty. Our network is presented in more than 75 countries, and I'm very happy to present this amazing company here in Cyprus. In Cyprus, we work with the four E's. We always put for forefront expertise of our team, efficiency for you, ethics, and elegance. As a fully licensed real estate agent, we are working with all the developers and we have very wide collection and variety of resale properties. We work all over Cyprus, all developers and private sellers. All the properties that join our collection, they have already passed our due diligence and all the team knows everything about those properties. What is very important to mention that we have a full in-house marketing and we have great connection with excellent partners in other areas. We have legal partners, immigration, accountants. So we will be able to put you in contact with the best professionals in the market. Myself, I've been working in Cyprus real estate for the last 20 years. I live in Cyprus. I have my children. I have my parents living in Cyprus. So everything that I will be sharing with you, it's not only theory, it's practical experience. So feel free to ask me any questions, even if they are not connected with the, the real estate as such if it's more about lifestyle and living in Cyprus. So today we will talk with you about Cyprus advantages. We will, I will provide you with Cyprus real estate market updates. What is happening? What is happening to the markets? What is happening to the prices? Where we are after the year of pandemic, after the year of COVID. Now, I always pay attention to one part, which I believe is very important. So what questions do you need to ask yourself before you start thinking about different country, before you start looking for properties, how to make this process the uh, efficient and pain-free for everyone? Today, we will focus on purpose. As I mentioned earlier, we are represented and we work with all areas in Cyprus. And we will be very happy to invite you to our new upcoming webinars, which will be dedicated to Limassol, to Larnaca, to Famagusta and Nicosia area. But today we will talk about Paphos and we will talk a little bit about two new amazing projects, which we chose as example or to show you what is interesting and what is available here in Paphos. So let's start with the main thing. Now you're comfortably sitting in the countries where you are and you saw our advertising, Cyprus. Hmm. 
That sounds interesting. Could it be something that could be of interest for me and my family? So if you really thinking about the country with mild climate and no pollution, if you're worried, as many of us are now about the safety of your family and the health of your family in the current pandemic, if you realize that now you don't need to be connected to the country of your work, that now actually the whole world opens up for you. And in many cases, we can work from any point on earth so if you're maybe thinking about your children's future and their education, maybe if you are not situated in Europe, you are thinking to live in Europe. Maybe you are just tired of everything and you are dreaming of a more relaxed uh, lifestyle. Maybe your interest is more of an investment basis and you're thinking to diversify your assets. Maybe again, it's a business opportunity and you're thinking to expand or maybe move the headquarters of your business somewhere else. Maybe again, you're worried about the safety of your business in your country or maybe now you're in a situation when you need to have European base for your business so you can run all the, businesses, all the business processes more smoothly. Or maybe you are thinking that, you know what, it seems that I'm paying too much taxes. Maybe I should look how can I structure my business and my personal affairs in such a way that I can legally pay less taxes. So if, after listening to me, you answered to any of your questions yes, then I invite you to keep listening because maybe Cyprus could be a solution for you. Maybe Cyprus could be of interest. And when we think about what are the main reasons why our investors and our, uh, and our clients are thinking about Cyprus, then I would say that there are four major reasons. So one, it would be lifestyle. The second reason could be investment, permanent residency, and assets, business diversification, everything, all these four categories. And I will try to cover all four of them. And of course, if you want me to cover one of the aspects in a bit more details, you can type it in the chat and I will pay a bit more attention to this particular point. Uh, and we will start with the first and foremost, lifestyle. When you're moving to a different country, of course, you're looking for, a, for quality of life. You're looking for a lifestyle that will fit you. And in a nutshell, the advantages of Cyprus lifestyle we will try, we try to put it on these two slides. And the first, of course, is the climate. Cyprus is the sunniest part in Europe with 340 sunny days uh, per year. Now I'm sitting in my office and outside is 26 degrees. The sun is shining and the weather is fantastic. Cyprus has cleanest beaches in Europe in Cyprus, the local population is very open to foreigners. Being a foreigner myself, living in Cyprus for the last 20 years, I can confirm that you never feel yourself a foreigner. Excellent healthcare. And Edward uh, wrote in the chat to talk a little bit more about healthcare. So in Cyprus, we have private healthcare. But since last year, we have an excellent national health uh, healthcare system called YESI. And when you become a permanent resident of Cyprus, you can join this system. Now, almost all doctors are connected to it. The level is absolutely fantastic. 
And just to give you an idea, because I know a little bit how other uh, healthcare systems in other countries work, in most cases, you need to wait very long time just to be seen if it is not a matter of emergency. In Cyprus, you can get a doctor appointment practically, if not the same day, maybe the other day. Only very, very few doctors, you will need to wait. You have a choice to choose your GP doctor. You have a choice to choose any doctor you want. And I remember once reading uh, an analysis that proportion of uh, doctor per population. And I think Cyprus was one of the highest. The population in Cyprus is very educated and we have lots of doctors. Before they were in the private sector, now most of them moved to YC and it became fantastic. The visit to any doctor through YC system is, will cost you six euros and the, camp, uh, the system also covers uh, part of your, uh, of your prescribed medicines. The healthcare showed quite well during the pandemic time. And uh, now even though Cyprus is one of the strictest countries, I would say, in terms of checking, of regular checking for the disease. Like now, if you're not vaccinated, you have to uh, do the test every three days. And also wherever you go, even if you go to the shop, you always need to show your safe pass either the vaccination certificate or uh, the test results. But as a result, the death rate in Cyprus is very low compared to everywhere else. So the healthcare is on a very good level. And this is important when you are considering moving to Cyprus. Cyprus has excellent connectivity. So it has, you can fly from Cyprus everywhere. What is very important is that Cyprus law system is based on British law and it is very clear. And even the small things that sometimes we don't pay attention, but they actually matter a lot. All the documents, even sale agreements, even uh, uh, loan agreements with the banks, everything is done in English. So it is very easy to, to do business and to do anything if you know English. As I mentioned, English language widely spoken. And again, even for the land registry, you uh, need to, uh, you, all the agreements can be accepted in English as well. Cyprus has modern bank and legal system the education is of very good quality and for education you have uh, two choices you can either go to free greek language school which is open for everyone or you can choose to send your children to private school which in cyprus all of them operate with british curriculum and when the kids finish school they have access to universities they do standard gc it is called IGCSEs and A-levels. And the level is very, very good. Cyprus is still one of the safest countries in Europe and you feel it all the time. You feel it everywhere. And even though now it's not as safe as when I just moved to Cyprus, when we could leave the cars unlocked, houses unlocked, now we have uh, some cases of burglaries, but still compared to the rest of Europe, is nothing. Tax system in Cyprus is amazing. And I will show you a small slide about uh, uh, for taxes. And this is absolutely fantastic uh, system for tax residents. And if you have questions how to become tax resident, I will also be able to cover the island is very rich in cultural heritage. So even uh, though it's quite small, there are so many places to see and there are so many places to visit. Infrastructure is excellent. 
and you have many, many lifestyle opportunities. So even though I'm not a tax advisor and I would never go to provide a huge tax advice, I will be uh, very happy to connect you with the best tax advisors in the country who will be able to provide you full consultation. But on these slides, you can see the main points. And I think the amount of zeros is really, really good. So when you move to Cyprus, you can get so-called non-domicile uh, status. This means that you were not born in Cyprus and you didn't pay taxes in Cyprus for the previous years. And for 17 years, you will have zero, zero tax on your passive income. Just imagine, zero tax. How much money you're saving just from that uh, option. And just to give you an idea that in Cyprus, as uh, everywhere in the world, that uh, you can become tax resident if you spend in Cyprus more than 183 days per year. There is also a possibility to go with the 60, year, 60 days rule. And we, if it's of interest, we, we can touch base on it as well. In Cyprus, we have zero property tax. We have zero inheritance tax. Pension tax is uh, 5%. And the corporate tax is 12.5%. And just to give you an idea that Cyprus is always looking for, uh, for options to bring more direct investment in the country. And big system that is big effort that is done now is to make Cyprus as the place for headquartering. So they're bringing lots of businesses to have headquarters in Cyprus. And the reason is, A, of course, easy connectivity, B, very good transparent taxes, and C, the cost of educated labor is less in Cyprus than in other countries. And we can see huge influx of interest from non-European, but also from European countries. We always have lots of interest from the UK. Uh, and now with Brexit, it's actually even more. We have interest from Germany. We have interest from Switzerland. We have interest from Scandinavian countries. We have lots of interest from countries that are non-European as well. Because again, the system is open for everyone. And a little bit later, I will tell you a bit more about new incentives that the government introduced now. Edward is asking if the taxes, uh, if the taxes are filed in English and Greek, you have an option to file the taxes in, or with the forms uh, in English as well. And in, if I'm not mistaken, most of government uh, websites, they are bilingual. So you will have the English and Greek as well. Okay. Uh, now, let's uh, go to the second part. For, for, so for the lifestyle, these are the main things that I mentioned. And Hans is asking about financial stability of country in terms of debt. I think here I will not be able to answer in exact terms, but I will look up and come back to you. I know for sure that in the international agencies, the stability of Cyprus is coming up. But I believe that now with pandemic, all the countries accumulated a bit of debt. So I prefer, Hans, if you don't mind, then I will check. Girls, please note this question and we will come back with the answer with our follow up. So, is it okay if we go forward with the second part? Please put pluses if you are okay and if everything is clear with the lifestyle. Excellent. Okay, so now this part for permanent residency, it is very important for people who are non-European because in if you are located in part of EU, then you know that in the European Union, we have uh, four main freedoms and one freedom is freedom of movement. So if you have European citizenship 
of any country, you can move to any other country of the block. Of course, you will need to register that you are staying there, but you don't have any restrictions. The situation is not the same if you are not originated from the EU, if you are what is called the third country nationals, but you still want to experience the lifestyle and you still want to experience the possibility of staying in the country more than three months at a time. So in Cyprus, there is an amazing, amazing system, it, which is called Cyprus Permanent Residency by Investment. The, it's not, the program is not uh, only for Cyprus. In general, lots of European countries, Greece, Spain, Portugal, they offer similar, property, uh, similar programs where they invite other residents to come and stay in their country. But Cyprus is the only EU country that offers permanent residency, meaning that by doing steps uh, described in the, in, in the procedure, you and your family will get permanent residency forever. You don't need to renew it. It is given to you. The investment, it, it's residency by investment. And investment is uh, quite low. It is 300,000 euros uh, plus VAT. What is very important that this status is granted for three generations of the family. It is granted to investor, the spouse of investor, parents and dependent children up to 25 years old. It's very important that when children even become non-dependent, they can keep their status. At the moment, there is no language exam, no medical test, no interview. And if you want to have the permanent residency status as plan B for the future, or maybe for your children, to keep the status, you don't need to live in Cyprus all the time. You need to visit it at least one day every two years. There are no direct tax consequences unless you become a tax resident. And what we see is that in most cases, people who are looking at Cyprus permanent residency, they actually, they want to move to the country and they want to become tax residents and they want to benefit from the tax regime that we have here. And what is really fantastic is that application processing period is very fast. It's only two months. And I will add one more thing that we never had before, but we experienced it last year. When the whole world was closed, people or the owners of properties who had permanent residency status, they could come to Cyprus even when everything was closed. And we saw that this option was, due, was used by so many investors who in the past were using uh, Cyprus property only as a, their holiday home. But because the world was closed, and imagine you're sitting in your cold country or you can be, you can spend the lockdown in Cyprus where you still can, could go to the beach, when you could go walk around in nature and enjoy really good quality of life, a lot of people used it. So just have in mind that even in the time of lockdowns, if you have permanent residency and legal status to stay in other country, you could use it. And let's hope that it will never happen again. But this was an important plus that we discovered last year. Investment criteria are very clear. It's 300,000 plus VAT, but there are several routes how to get it. It can be the residential properties. It could be the commercial properties, share capital of the company, and also investment in units of Cyprus investment funds. And the timeline is two months, valid for life, visit Cyprus once every two years, issued for the whole family with a clean investment. And uh, 
before I move to the process and before I move further, I want to uh, stress it once again, because in the audience, we have people from many countries. These A, these permanent uh, residency and other residencies like category F, etc. This is only important if you are non-European. If you're European, there is a different procedure where you, again, you need to follow it through, but you don't have any restrictions. So for you, you don't really need to, uh, to make this investment. Okay. What is very important is that, as I mentioned earlier, Cyprus government always, always tries to make the country even more attractive. So people not only come for sun and sea, that people not only come for a short period of time, that they actually spend more time in Cyprus, that they add more substance to their presence, that they add to the development of the country and to the growth of the country. So last week, it is very fresh announcement. Last week, the government announced new, me new uh, measures for attracting foreign companies to relocate or expand their operations to the country. So the first thing is that they allow the employment of qualified third country nationals. This is, again, if you're European, it's not valid because we have these four freedoms. But if you are from non-European country, but you want to bring your own employees, you have now this option. And this is fantastic option. I'm not going now to go into details for the, for the taxes that we have for IT companies, for shipping companies, for, for, for trading companies, but the pluses are enormous. So again, we can see every day big companies from all over the world relocating, bringing either head offices or even physically relocating their staff. The opportunity to work is given not only to the uh, high qualified staff, but also for their spouses, which we never had before. The granting of work permits becomes much easier we are going to introduce digital nomad visa and for newly employed employees there will be a big saving on taxes if income is higher than 55000 for those people who want to then become uh, citizens of cyprus the time for naturalization is reduced from 7 years to 5 but at the same time, there is, if you want to become a citizen, then you will need to have a basic knowledge of Greek language and pass the exam. So here we were with the lifestyle and with the uh, legal part, with the statuses. Let's say we are basically going with you step by step. So the first step is Cyprus for me. Is there anything that I can be interested in there? We covered the lifestyle. Okay, I like Cyprus, I want to move there. Can I stay there legally? Yes, we covered it with our uh, permanent residency update. So now we're coming, what is happening with the real estate? Are there any sales happening? What is, what is actually the updates? And before I go further, I will let you know that in Cyprus, we have a very good system in the land registry. Every contract of sale is registered in the land, uh, land and survey depart, uh, department, which is we all call land registry. And they actually publish the data in the open format every month. So you can see the number of uh, transactions per month. You can see the uh, split of transactions between the areas and you can even see the split of transactions between the local buyers and uh, the foreigners. So my team prepared the data so we can compare the same period. So we compared 18, 19, 20, 21, the same period, January to September. And of course, you can see that uh, last year there was a big drop 
But this year, we are coming very, we are coming back very strong. We're coming back very strong and we are above the levels of 2018, where the year was amazing. If we look the split between the property transactions volumes between the cities, in Cyprus, we have five main regions. Nicosia is the capital, which is inland area. The district of Famagusta uh, includes Ayanapa, Protaras and Paralimni. Larnaca district, Limassol and Paphos. And on this graph, and we will send you presentation so you can look at it in your own time, but you can see that the cities have their differences, but I need to stress that the cities are also very different in terms of population. So let's say if in the capital of, in Nicosia, we have more than 300,000 pe uh, people. In Paphos, the whole region is about 90,000. If we look at the domestic transactions, then we can see that even in 2020, even though there was a bit of a drop, it actually it wasn't as dramatic as the total and not as dramatic as you will see with foreigners, which again, completely clear, last year Cyprus was closed and uh, very few people were actually buying properties online without visiting. Also last year we had a um, cancellation or closing, closure of uh, citizenship by investment program, which of course also influenced the, uh, the figures. With domestic transactions, we always had the leaders were Nicosia and Limassol strictly because of the population. These are two biggest areas where the population is, the population numbers are much higher than in other regions. With foreign transactions, we had a drop in 2020, but again, we are recovering. With foreign transactions, we are not as high as uh, we want to be, but we are on the right track. And if we look uh, in terms of distributions between property transactions for the areas, we can see that always Paphos and Limassol, they were the most popular areas, with Paphos actually leading the way because of its nature and because of many things which we'll cover a little bit uh, later. For ease of understanding, we also put these figures on the map. So you can see that 2021, the leaders in total, Limassol, Nicosia, Paphos, Larnaca, Famagusta. And why I I feel that it is important to share this information with you because for every transaction, we see it as an investment transaction. Even if you buy for your personal use, you, we don't know what will happen later. Maybe you would want to sell the property and we want to make sure that you understand the liquidity of the properties, the investment potential and the resale potential as well. If we look at the distribution of transactions by foreigners, then we can see that it's slightly different. It's Paphos, Limassol, uh, Larnaca, Nicosia, Famagusta. Now we are coming to the checklist, which we will be very happy to share with you. And when my team will be talking with you after the uh, event, they will definitely be asking you these questions. These are the part when we are Together with you, we try to streamline the process. We try to help you find, uh, help you not have frustrations, and we try to help you find the best suitable options for you. And that's why we always recommend all our potential investors first to think: what is the purpose? Why? Why am I looking to buy? Is it permanent residency? Is it taxes? Am I moving my family? Am I taking kids to school? Am I moving my business? Because this may influence the choice of the cities or geographical choice. So we can advise you which areas will be 
uh, suitable unless of course you know the area and then the next question would be location even though the island is quite small but at the same time we have a big amount of stock available so it's very important to understand what is your preferred location of course budget is important how much money you plan to invest uh, are you using your own funds or you will be uh, taking more uh, alone here what is the property type and then what is your lifestyle what would be your ideal property what is your ideal picture do you like to be by the sea or do you want to be a part of a maybe golf community maybe you want to be in the mountains these are all questions which are very very important for you to think before you you start serious search for properties okay so we are moving forward and i will try to speed up so we will cover all the uh, information okay so today we have paphos as a center of our attention paphos is located in the western part of Cy of uh, of cyprus and it's one of the most beautiful resort towns in Cyprus. It's a city of villas and low-rise buildings. We don't have very high density in Cyprus. And of course, we all know that Cyprus is mostly known as a place of the birthplace of the goddess of love and uh, beauty Aphrodite. We still have Aphrodite, the remainings of Aphrodite temples. And the city is so beautiful and it has so much cultural heritage that the whole central part, the entire city, is listed as UNESCO cultural heritage. In 2017, Paphos was the European capital of culture and actually lots of infrastructure projects have been completed. So now Paphos looks amazing. In terms of pricing, it is still offers affordable property and you can get a seaside villa at the cost of apartments in Limassol where the prices are much higher. It has excellent rental potential because South Paphos region is the leader in terms of tourism. And you can, there is high demand and return on investment is good whether it's short term or long term. Paphos has very good infrastructure. It has its own international airport, free schools, international schools. At the moment in Cyprus, we have four running golf resorts, and all of them are located in Paphos region. There is a university, the variety of kindergartens, art studios, private hospitals, sports centers, banks, shopping malls, supermarkets. So it is a very good place for, uh, in terms of infrastructure. On this slide, we just put together the dynamics of real estate market only for Puffers. So you can see the, uh, all the main metrics. But now, uh, let me talk a little bit about the two new projects that we currently want to present to you that were recently put in the market. I want to stress that as Cyprus Sotheby's International Realty, we have excellent portfolio of different properties. So in a way, it was quite difficult to choose only two projects because in terms of a choice, we can offer variety of choices. In terms of budget, variety of budgets. In terms of styles, variety of styles. And if you visit our website, you will even see that we've done sort of collections of different lifestyles. Uh, golf, resort community, mountain living, city apartments, etc., etc. But here I will talk a little bit about two projects which are, which are universal. We tried in the spirit of this webinar to select the properties that offer excellent lifestyle that provide modern quality and have great location because in properties we all know it's location 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 so offer great uh, location 
have good investment potential and are suitable for the fast track permanent residency if our listeners require the uh, require to get this status so the two projects that we selected the first is luxury villas in the suburbs in terms of location it's only three minute three kilometers to the sea it is located in Peya which is very close to the best uh, sandy beach in Paphos Coral Bay. The distance to private school is only three and a half kilometers. It's just one kilometer to the shop and to the airport, it's 31 kilometers. It's a low rise uh, project, two floors. Every property has covered and uncovered parkings or it has parking, sometimes it, some of them are covered, some of them are uncovered. Every property has private pool, and there are only 19 houses. 19 houses with three bedrooms, and they all have a roof garden. Uh, in terms of the payment schedule, because the project is under construction, you have an option to split the payment and everything is connected to the completion of, uh, uh, of a construction stage. The project will be ready in eight months, and that's why you have the split payment terms until completion. Pricing starts, you can get a three-bedroom new villa starting from 385,000 plus VAT. VAT in Cyprus, is 19 percent but if you are getting a property for yourself and this is your first property and will be your main res uh, residence you're not planning to rent it out and get income then you will be only paying five percent because the government offers incentives of 14 percent for the first property and the uh here we can see the size you can see it's open plan uh, dining living area with a kitchen, guest toilet, lovely veranda overviewing the swimming pool. And upstairs, you have three full-size bedrooms, two bathrooms. And again, you have a veranda overlooking the pool. In some cases, it's green area. And in some cases, for some villas, it has the sea view as well. Let's uh, look through the beautiful interiors of the property. And now we are moving to the second project, the complex of apartments. The choice of the type of properties, it's fully personal. Some people prefer to have apartments where they don't need to worry about the maintenance of the swimming pool, maintenance of the garden, where they can lock, leave, and come and everything will be uh, will be perfect. So this is the complex that the project that is going to be launched in a couple of weeks. It's not even in the market and location is superb. It's very close to the sea. And when we're saying to the sea, we mean to the swimmable beach. So you need to, you don't go to the rocks and you see the sea, you actually have a good, good area to swim it's important to say that from the second floor of apartments you will have the sea view as well it's perfect distance to the british school only 150 meters so it's easy for if you are a teenager they can even walk by themselves shops are very close again only 300 meters and it, because it's purpose central purpose so it's only 18 kilometers to the airport. This option is perfect for uh, your personal residency, but also as a holiday home that you can rent out if you're not using it uh, uh, all the time, or maybe even if you don't use it, if it's uh, an investment uh, option, you will be able to rent it easily, easily long-term. We, at the moment, we're struggling to find good rentals in the complexes like that. Again, it's low rise, only four floors. 
It has parking, only 20 apartments. On each floor, we have five apartments and you have your swimming pool, the communal swimming pool, you have green area, and also you have your private gym for the, for the project. The property is managed by the, the developer has own property management company and the quality of the management is very, very good. The uh, availability is one bedroom, two bedroom and three bedroom properties. The specifications are excellent. You have underflow heating, really good materials. And if you know Cyprus, and maybe if you visited it five, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, you probably would notice uh, that quality. And even when we view properties and we compare properties built 10 years ago, 15 years ago, the quality of materials, the quality of construction is completely different. And the main thing is energy efficiency, is insulation, and it's the quality of materials and quality of designs. So here, everything is very high. And again, I don't want to go too much into details to go further, but this is the top specifications that you can imagine. In Cyprus, all the properties are delivered with all the flooring, with all sanitary wear and with all cabinets, kitchen cabinets and wardrobes in the, uh, in the bedrooms as well. Okay, this project, because it's brand new, we haven't even launched it officially. I got permission to share this information as a pre-launch with special prices and with special deals. So the delivery will be in July 2023 and you have an option to spread the payment during all uh, the, this period. Again, fixed and connected to the completion of construction stages. One bedroom starts from 225,000 euros and for ease of reference, we also put it in pounds and in dollars. One bedrooms uh, are starting from 66 square meters covered area and design is very easy and very convenient. So you have open plan kitchen, dining, living area, full size bedroom, full size bathroom and excellent size veranda. And in Cyprus, you spend so much time outside that veranda becomes like a, uh, an extra extra living living space and in some cases even an extra extra sleeping place two bedroom apartments start from 350000 euros plus vat and from 95 square meters and the design again is fantastic unfortunately the marketing team somehow cut the veranda of the picture the, these apartments have verandas as well open plan kitchen, dining, living area, two bedrooms, two bathrooms, which makes it perfect for personal use and for uh, renting out, should you wish to do so. And three bedroom apartment from 605,000 plus VAT, 133 square meters. Again, excellent design. And with three bedroom structure, I really like that we have this natural ventilation. So you always will have fresh, uh, fresh air and a little bit of draft, which in summer is a very, very good thing. And what is very nice for all the participants of our webinar, I got a special proposed, special bonus from the developers who launched this project that if should you be interested in these projects, we have an opportunity to offer you turnkey solution. You can get the full package of full furniture and electrical appliances for any property that you choose from those uh, developments. So if you're interested, we will be very happy to share this bonus with you. 
And before we come to questions and answers, because I really want to leave some time for questions and answers before we finish, I want to summarize and uh, tell you how we work or what is next. Let's imagine that you liked what you heard, you would like to find out more, and you would want to understand how can you work with Cyprus Sotheby's International Realty. So there are actually five easy steps. And step number one, we would always ask you to have a personal consultation. We don't like sending the options if we don't understand what is it you're looking for. As I said, we have thousands of properties available in our portfolio and we find it very inefficient if we just send you options, send you options without understanding what is it that you want. We have an excellent team of brokers in our company. All of them are highly qualified. So the first step is a personal online consultation with our property expert where you can discuss your goals. Is Cyprus good for you? Will Cyprus fit your requirements? What are the specifics? What are the things that you need to bear in mind? What are the processes? So we are providing the all initial information and understand your needs and goals from day one. If everything goes well and we see and you understand that, yes, Cyprus could be of interest for whatever reason it is, then the second step will be to prepare for the trip. And if you're serious about purchasing properties, it's not just the visit. You know, before many years ago, it was just like prepare for the trip. That was book the hotel and book the flight. But now you need to understand that you will get, uh, you need to prepare the documents for the bank. If you have immigration uh, process like permanent residency, you will need to prepare the immigration, uh, uh, immigration documents. If you want to use the tax, uh, tax advantages, then we will arrange for you online consultation and what you need to know with a tax expert. So prelim, we can discuss your itinerary and prepare for you the long list and the short list. And then, of course, step number three is coming to Cyprus to view, to view and select properties and to uh, uh, start the initial paperwork. Step number four is buying the property. And I, my favorite is step number five is when you're actually have time to enjoy your new home in the sun. This is the whole process. And now I will switch off the presentation and we still have some time to do questions and answers if you have any questions. Okay. I have a question from Rachel. How easy it is to get permanent residency in the country. Uh, in Cyprus, we have different types of uh, residency permits. If you are talking about permanent residency that I covered, then you need to uh, fit the criteria. And the criteria are that, number one, you need to uh, make investment in, uh, uh, in the amount of 300,000 plus VAT in the routes that uh, we have in our presentation. You need to have clean criminal record and you need to prove that you have uh, enough funds to sustain your lifestyle here. As a guideline, they are asking about 30,000 euro, uh, the income about 30,000 euros per year for the main applicant. And then it's a paperwork, it's a application, and in two months, you will have the answer. So I would say that it's quite easy, provided that you fulfill the criteria. Okay, now next question from Hans. Real estate price development forecast, next five years. Uh, very interesting question. And of course, we all know that forecast is a forecast, but we need to understand 
the uh, what is behind the forecast and what influences the prices. And number one, of course, is supply and demand. And even though we do have supply of properties in the country, we have very strong demand. Uh, we have very strong demand for properties and especially for good quality properties. Because unfortunately, and I witnessed it myself, unfortunately, in most cases, the older property, the quality is not as good as uh, uh, we would want to have. So in many cases, people uh, proceed with the new build properties. And what affects new construction is the cost of construction materials. And this year we witnessed uh, a huge increase in the construction cost. Lots of construction materials, in the, they doubled in prices. So of course, the prices will go up. I will find out and maybe in the new presentation, new webinar, I can cover a bit more the forecast and the prices movement. We already had our drop in prices and now we are slowly, we're starting going up. So we are again, I would say that we are on the curve when we start go, when the prices uh, start going up. Okay. Do all new properties in Cyprus come with the sanitary way included in the price or is there a chargeable extra? All new built properties in Cyprus, Elaine, come with the full, uh, all flooring, all sanitary wear included in the price, all provisions, all electrical connection, everything, and all the cabinet, all the cabinets. This is not a chargeable extra. And even better, when you enter the project on the early stage, in most cases, you even have flexibility to choose the finishes that you want. Even though now, most of developers have excellent choices. And in most cases, we see that the, our clients, they don't even change, change uh, anything. So yes, everything is in the price. The only extra things that you need to invest is your furniture, electrical appliances, and uh, of course your utensils and your personal personal stuff. Okay. Do we have any more questions? Well, in this case, I want to say thank you once again to all the participants. Thank you for allocating this time and your busy schedule to listen and find out a little bit more about Cyprus. We will be happy to provide more advice and we will be happy to help you maybe find your new home in Cyprus. And important thing that we live here, we know this island, we know the industry, and we really want more people to enjoy this fantastic lifestyle, to enjoy this island. And we will be happy to provide best possible service and give you the, the, uh, give you the advice that we want. And I can see an excellent question. And I forgot to mention that we tried this uh, time a new technical thing. And if you look at the screen, on top of it, you have a red button with book your free consultation. If you press this button, then you can book an online consultation with our expert, which is free. And we will be, again, we will be extremely happy to share our knowledge and make this journey enjoyable and hassle-free. So thank you very much. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And even if you are coming to Cyprus not to buy property, but just for a visit, welcome to our office. We would be happy to see you. Bye.